Hello everyone, uh, this is a very special episode of the CDH cast. Today we're going to be discussing some of the updates to the decklist database. Um, just like a forewarning, uh, I have nothing to do with the decklist database. I don't make any decisions for what decks go on there. Um, but there's been some exciting changes uh, for both me and Ian and the rest of the community. So I thought we would go over some of those changes. Um, we'll provide a link to the decklist database and the discord on the decklist database, which has a lot of information and discussion about some of these changes. So if you're curious, like why one commander is considered not recommended or why one commander is recommended, you might be able to ask questions there. Um, additionally, there's like some of the change log, which I, I haven't cut, but you might want to just see it all in one place with some of the context of uh, the discussions that went alongside it. So um, the Discord is a really great place to check out that information. So uh, before we start off, I thought I'd just say that. If you've never seen the decklist database before, uh, this is a quick look at it. Uh, so you have decks organized by color, then their deck name, the commander that covers them. So if you highlight over Urza right here, you see Urza pops up. Uh, then there's uh, whether or not the deck's recommended, whether or not it has a primer, whether or not it has a discord, and then if it's one of a couple categories. So there's adaptive, proactive, and disruptive. So uh, this is what the decklist database actually looks like. Um, there's also a few other pages you can check out, a link to the Discord. Um, you can also click on these to, uh, you know, filter. So if I only want to show decks that aren't recommended or decks that are recommended, that is a very quick and easy way of getting that set up. So we're going to be talking about some of the changes made to this Discord. So that is something, um, this is something you should check out maybe uh, before we, we dive into this conversation. So here we have the first half of the change log. Um, as you can see, uh, there are some newly accepted entries, including Calamax, which is a breach control deck, a Hapatra list, a Juleva storm deck, a Vadrock Apex of Tide, Nath, Seattle 27, I don't know what that means, uh, or that's probably just the name, I guess. Um, Tim Natana, uh, Tim Natana Double D, I don't know what that is. Uh, there's Teshar, uh, which is actually a pretty contentious uh, list. Uh, it's pretty popular. It won a league in Brazil. There's been a lot of discussion about the list and whether or not it should be here, so happy to see that finally here. Uh, and then there's Kenrith Evolution, which I'm going to guess is Hire's Kenrith deck, which is pretty sick. I, I know I personally was advocating for this list to be on the decklist database. Uh, if you look at all these decks, um, they're either updates to old lists like Jaleva, Timnatana, Kenrith, uh, or they're like kind of less popular, fringy, like low color decks, kind of like Hapatra or Nath or Teshar. Um, in general, I think that's we haven't had a big commander centric release lately, so it makes sense that this is the kind of changes that we'll be seeing in this quarter or month. I, I forget how often they update, but. In this, in this change, this is kind of what we're expecting to see from newly accepted entries. Um, maybe around the time like Zendikar comes out and Commander Legends comes out, you can expect there to be way more new entries, and they'll probably be related to the new commanders that are getting printed. The next section is um, additional alternative lists. So I'll read those off. Uh, Keenan, Keenan's CEDH shenanigans, SIG, Doomtide SIG Control, which is like pretty sick, I think. Uh, might suggest that to someone I've been talking to. Uh, Abzan Raziketh. Uh, so Nikar and Yannick, those are the Abzan partners. The name of the deck is Scavenger Hunt. Brago Tempo Stacks. That's like an interesting list. Um, never heard of a Tempo Stacks list, so that's kind of interesting. Niv Mizzet CSP. I don't know what that is uh, at all. Um, Thrasios and Timna Hulk, Full English Breakfast. Uh, this is the new post flashban Hulk deck, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Timur Food Chain, uh, I, I Luna, I Luna. Uh, so it's just a Food Chain Timur deck. Those are uh, there's a few Timur commanders that you know do the Food Chain thing, so it's good to see another one of those. Um, Thrasios and Timna Midrange Consult, Tender Consultation. I actually haven't seen this list. I'm willing to bet it's just like a more Bloom Tender. Um, free from the real focus list, but I'll be checking that out. Um, Riel, Riel Tempo, 
And then Akima Kazar, Hermit, Hermit Warrior Werewolf, that is actually in deck, so great to see that that added as an alternative list. I think that's probably actually my favorite Akima Kazar list, so especially happy to see that one. Finally, we have uh, new additions to recommend it. Uh, this is a section that me and Ian are pretty happy about. Um, there's uh, Thrasios Bruce Tarl Evolution, which is obviously like the deck that Ian has put the most amount of time into. Um, additionally, there's Thrasios and Timnem Midrange Consultation. That's where Medium Green is currently held on the DDB. It's probably where it will stay. Uh, really happy to see that. It means that people can play Medium Green on the Nexus, which makes me really happy. Um, uh, new players, anyone can play Medium Green on the Nexus if they're not an apprentice anymore, but it means apprentices can. Uh, and then Ukima Kazur, um, I think that's what it is. It's U and K Food Chain. I assume that's Ukima Kazur Food Chain, uh, which makes a lot of sense, and that's pretty cool too. That probably means that uh, people can now play the Hermit Warrior Werewolf, Whale Wolf um, deck. So that's pretty sick. So yeah, a lot of these are like really great changes. They're, ha they're changes I'm excited to see. Uh, I think the recommended lists did need some updating, uh, so I'm happy to see these here. I think. It's pretty, there's not a lot of metas where I wouldn't suggest people play like, any of these decks, so I, th I think it's pretty solid. All right, so we have a few more updates uh, to the, the DDV I will read over. So first of all, they've actually separated uh, two deck lists or two archetypes that were already together. So uh, this is one Ian and I are also happy about. Uh, Yuriko has now been uh, switched into a Turbo Ad Nauseam list, which is the one I play, and then a Doomsday list, which is the like more traditional Yuriko server list. Um, these lists are like pretty different. I mean, one's proactive, one's disruptive. Um, they're both just like totally, I mean, they're playing a lot of similar Yuriko enablers, but in terms of like how you would play them, they're just so dramatically different. I think it's for the best that they're different. I think the communities are kind of separate too, so it makes sense. Uh, the other one is Rakdos uh, World Gorger, which is now in a Croxa and Angie uh, separate, which is great. Uh, additionally, we'll see a little bit later that uh, Zancha is no longer considered uh, like good enough for the DDB, um, which I probably... I don't know if I actually agree with that, but it does make uh, the World Gorger decks more consolidated, even if there's more... It means the World Gorger decks are easier to understand when you look at the DDB, which is definitely a good thing so happy to see it uh, so additionally there's been a consolidation which is the Anafenza Razaketh and the Nikara Razaketh so those are just Abzan Razaketh looks lists sounds like they've been combined um, I don't know enough about those lists to really commentate on them but you know it's always good to see like deck lists consolidated if the communities are happy with that uh, a single list has been removed from recommended Isan I think that's probably for the best. Um, in the past, it was like more of a budget deck that also, you know, could be played at like higher skill levels. Um, but I don't think the deck is really doesn't really make sense as a recommended list anymore. It isn't really that cheap anymore, and it doesn't really do the job in the meta. I think the meta's gotten way worse for it, and so those like two things combining together make the deck not worth being recommended, in my opinion. It seems like. Um, maybe not for those reasons, but it seems like the people who run the DDB also agreed. So, sounds good. Uh, finally, uh, so three lists were moved to outdated. Um, one thing that the DDB people have said, which I included here, I'll read it out loud, is please note that there are one of two reasons why a list is moved to outdated. Either the list itself has simply not been updated in quite some time, or it has not been able to keep up with the current metagame. Keep in mind, we are not trying to suggest these commanders are no longer competitive, but that the list is outdated, so feel free to submit new updates. So, um, you know, and maybe that's why I disagree with the Xantra removal. Maybe it just isn't uh, updated often enough, or maybe they do feel that it's not competitive. I, I honestly am not sure. Um, I know the Joyra Stacks deck, uh, so I'll read them off. Xantra, World Culture Dragon, Joyra Stacks, and Grixis Twin. Uh, I know that I have a friend who plays Joyra Stacks, uh, well, not Joyra Sex, just plays Joyra. Um, and he felt that the lists were outdated and was happy to see them gone, actually. So sounds like there's a agreement in the community about that, or maybe just there's a, enough of a consensus that it shouldn't be on the uh, DDB anymore. And Grixis Twin, I have never played against Grixis Twin, ever. So um, 
kind of odd that it's on the DB. There's decks on the DB I haven't played against, but it's been on there pretty long, and I've literally never played against it, so I'm not shocked to see it go. So, all right. That is the end of the changes. Overall, pretty happy with the DDB right now. Seems like a lot of the problems I might have had a few uh, months ago have all been resolved over the course of the last few months, and I'm really happy to see the direction it's moving in. If you have any thoughts about the DDB or any questions, uh, please hop on to the, their Discord or leave a comment here. Maybe I can ask around and answer it um, in the comments. So thanks for checking out this video, and I hope you check out all of our other content we have going on here. Um, we have uh, our podcast, which is coming out weekly, Greedy Keeps, where we sit down with deck creators and talk about their decks and do some mulligans. And we also have a TCG Player affiliate link in the description, which you can check out. And if you buy stuff on there, it helps out the podcast, helps out the rest of our content. So thanks very much for listening and watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.